Hello, and welcome to our channel. If you're looking to leverage your automation capabilities, you are in the right place. Today, we are diving into how you can clone and modify the applications from RoboMotion App Store. Specifically, we are going to update the Video Dubber app to use your own API keys instead of relying on RoboMotion AI credits. So let's start our modifications. First things first, you will need to locate the Video Dubber application from our store. If it is not installed, you can install it by this button. Find the app icon and look for the action menu in the top right corner. Here you will see an option labeled clone application. Go ahead and click on that. Cloning will take a few minutes. It is a process that imports the application flow into your workspace, enabling you to make any necessary changes to the flow. Once the app is cloned, the flow will be available in Flow Designer. To begin editing the flow, click on the icon menu and select the Edit Flow option. And this is where we begin. This flow uses the Replicate package for transcribing the audio and the OpenAI package for the translation and the text-to-speech operations. Both the Replicate and OpenAI API usage require subscriptions to their services. This is the advantage of using AI credits. Instead of subscribing to multiple third-party services, you can just use RoboMotion AI credits. AI credits are included with our user plans, and you can purchase additional credits through the subscriptions page in our admin console. So, if you prefer to use your own API keys, you will need to subscribe to these services, which will enable you to directly utilize their API keys. To keep your API keys safe and secure, we will use RoboMotion vaults, where your keys will be stored in encrypted form. After opening the vaults dialog using your workspace password, click the Create Vault button to create a new vault. We are going to name it Video Dubber and then click the Create button. After the vault is created, copy the generated secret key and keep it for future use. Now we can add our API keys to the created vault to keep them secure and then use them in our flows. So to do that, click the Create Item button and select the API key type to first add our OpenAI key. For OpenAI, you can visit the OpenAI API Keys page and click the Create a New Secret button. We can name it Video Dubber. Copy this secret key and then paste it into your Vault Items value field. And we will create another Vault Item for adding the Replicate API token. This time, navigate to the Replicate API Tokens page where you can create a new token. Enter a name for the token and click the Create Token button. Copy the token and paste it into the value field. After adding our keys, we are now ready to use them in the flow. The default flow uses RoboMotion AI credits for the OpenAI and Replicate Connect nodes that we are going to update. Here, click on the Replicate Connect node to access its properties. Uncheck the option for RoboMotion AI credits to disable its use. Next, select the vault you previously created and choose the Replicate item from the list. Then do the same for the OpenAI Connect. 
Uncheck RoboMotion Credits. Select Video Dubber and open AI key. Now, our cloned application flow is configured to use our own replicate and open AI keys instead of the default RoboMotion AI credits. Save the updated flow. Then, create a new version of this flow and assign it the name V6. After you have successfully created this version, the next step is to publish it, ensuring that it becomes available for deployment via the admin console. Once the publishing step has been completed, you can move on to the apps page within the admin console. Here, you will have the option to manage and update the cloned application version you will see the cloned app name in this page. This is added by the clone application action. It is currently using the V5, which is the original version of the application. And we will update the version of this cloned app to our newly created V6 version. Now we can return to apps dashboard. Click the action menu item named Manage Instances to create an application instance. Click the Create Instance button in this page, which will create an instance to run your app. Then navigate to the Admin Console Robots page. Here, you can view all the robots in your workspace. When you create an instance for any application and then visit the robots page in the admin console, you will see a new application robot added there. This robot, bearing the same instance name, is a special type of robot designed exclusively to run this app flow. We can now connect this robot from our machine to run the app locally. To connect the application robot from your machine, you must first download and install the RoboMotion desktop agent. You can find the installer at robomotion.io slash downloads. Download and install the appropriate agent software for your operating system. Launch the RoboMotion desktop application to connect your robot. Enter your workspace credentials on this screen. Click the sign in button to connect to your workspace. After you sign into your workspace, your workspace robots will be listed. Select the My Video Dubber application robot and then click the connect button. And now our application robot is ready to run our app locally. If you return to the admin console screen and refresh the page, you will see the robot status as connected. Previously, we have added our API keys to the secure vault that we created, ensuring that these critical credentials are stored safely and managed securely. Our replicate and open AI keys are stored in it. These items are stored in an encrypted form in our vault. So in order for the robot to use these items, it must have the vault secret key to decrypt them. To do this, we have a vault secret injection mechanism for the robots. Go to the admin console robots page. From the Actions menu, click on the Inject Vault Secret, enter your workspace password, select the vault, and enter the Vault Secret key that you have saved. Now, our robot has the capability to decrypt and utilize the items stored in our vault while executing the application flow. We have finished updating our application flow and ready to run the updated flow. Return to the RoboMotion Apps dashboard and click on the cloned application icon to start running our updated version. When you click on an application icon, it will first attempt to run the application on a locally connected robot. If none is available, it will try to run on the cloud if cloud run minutes are available. we have started running our updated version of the video dubber locally. When you click the open button, the video dubber web application will establish a connection with your locally running robot, 
which operates using the updated backend flow that incorporates your own API keys. Thank you for watching.